26 is Kate. All right, man, you know Kendall got a real job, so Kendall ain't, you know, and Kendall probably ain't going to be on here. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, let's talk about Mirkovich. Mirkovich, now, I'm, I'm going to say this. When it comes to villains, RIP to Walter Flynn, but as of right now, the Serbs, the Serbs, season two Serbs, Mirkovic, this might be one of the baddest bosses in any of the spinoffs. The way he popped up at this motherfucker and got that. We got to give Mirkovic some credit. We got to give him props because he's been standing on... This nigga is shooting grenade launchers. Mirkovic is not playing around. The Serbs, we got to give them. We, of, of course, we know they're not going to last long. But as far as this season, what they are doing with the Serbs, these motherfuckers is different. Name a spinoff character that's doing what Mirkovic is doing. Now, they killed Walter Flynn. Walter Flynn was putting in their work. I wish they would have kept him around at least to the end of the season. But Mirkovich, when he popped up in this, after he sent the goonies out there shooting grenades, telling Claudia, I can get you knocked and go tell Tommy, hey, Mirkovich is on some shit right now. Now, this guy right here, you know I got to point it out. Never show up to a shootout <laughs> with the shirt tucked in <laughs> in the Stacey Adams belt buckle. This is not sliding the tire. These boots ain't got no grips. You better off wearing the Tims that our boy Kane be wearing when he go sliding. This outfit right here, no, 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 no. This outfit right here is kind of like informal, formal, you know, like day culture. They could wear this somewhere, jeans with a blazer and like a T-shirt tucked in. They were allowed to go to certain events like this. Now, we can't pull up like, you know, we got to have some slacks or we got to have the whole deal, you know what I mean? But this right here, this right here, he probably drove Mirkovich. So when he got out the car, he had to take off his driver jacket. He had to grab his gun and go on in here. See, he wasn't prepared, and we seen him get knocked quickly. We seen him get knocked quickly. You know what I mean? What up, Tamika? Mecca? Mecca? Man, Mecca wasn't no shit. Mary J. Blige killed Mecca, man. We can't give no Mecca no credit. We can't. And Mecca was a rat. Mecca don't get no credit. When you got the police protecting, you can do whatever the fuck you... That don't count. That don't count. How you get set up by Tariq St. Patrick in Monet to hide him? This whole Monday mistake started because Monet made mistakes at the bar. That's how we got Monday mistakes because of Monet Tejada. So we created Monday mistakes because of Monet Tejada and you get set up and killed by Monet Tejada. You ain't on shit. You see, Zay? Against the guaps. The guaps. Nigga, I could have I could have got rid of the guaps. Kane got rid of half the guaps. I could have got rid of the guaps. King got rid of the guaps. Shit, Jeremiah, I don't know if force is getting renewed or not, but I know one thing, Jeremiah, the Canadian plug, gonna be watching this motherfucker Thursday night. I know that. I guarantee Jeremiah gonna be talking about this show Thursday night. I guarantee Jeremiah's gonna be watching that final, you know what I'm saying? The finale. So regardless if it, if it gets renewed or not, I know for sure it's gonna have your eyeballs for two more weeks. It don't matter if it get renewed or not. Because guess what? Just like I'm talking about this, I'm talking about every single show in the whole power universe. Now, it might not get renewed. Because this outfit right here, this ain't a redo outfit. This is a one and, one and done. 
you can wear this one time to a shootout and you'll be done at the end of that shootout. <laughs> it's lights out. <laughs> <laughs> Zay said, little, little guap whooping me. Hey, man, listen, little Zay be like this. He be on the phone all the time. I'm whooping little Zay. I mean, uh, not little Zay, little, little guap ass. Two bit? But is two bit really a villain, though? Two bit was part of Tommy's crew. I'm talking about like the opposition. You know what I mean? Like Lobos. You know what I mean? Like that. You know, Dante was part of the ops. Like, look it. So let me ask y'all this. Who stood on business? If you had to choose right now the crew to be in that's really going to get some shit done, are you going with Mirkovic and the Serbs or are you going with Noma and I guess Afi, the Tejada kids? Who are you who, who are you rolling with? Noma and the Tejada kids or are you rolling with Serbs and the Muffin? Hold on. Y'all acting like they, they, man. Hold on. Let me, let me see something. Let me see something. Do I got it? Do I got it? Come on, Mo, have it, please. Nope. 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 Uh, show photos. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I ain't, I ain't got the photos on this. Oh, it was on the other one. It was on the other one. But. This nigga shot a grenade launcher in the projects, bro. Doom! Killed everybody. My dog, Big Smurf. Big Smurf used the kid as a shield, man. That's how scared niggas was. That's how scared niggas was. We talking about Unique. Man, Lulu having lunch with Unique. Raquel is having sex with Unique. Unique ain't like that. Unique had to get put on. What are we talking about? This nigga Mirka bitch don't give a fuck. He kicked in the door. He heard that they trying to get the coalition together. He going toe to toe with the whole cartel, with Tommy Egan, all the niggas in Chicago. Miracle bitch kicked in the door. We ain't seen no one do nothing. No more ain't standing on nothing. Mecca ain't did nothing. Little guap. Little guap. Man. Miracle bitch came with this motherfucker. Miracle bitch went to war with goddamn Walter Flynn. He went to war with Tommy. He going to war with the cartel. He is the only opposition that we seen go at it with everybody. He's the only character we seen go at it with everybody. Name one character that's beefing with everybody. Walter Flynn wasn't going at it with the cartel. He was only going at it with the Serbs. The Serbs don't give a fuck. They going at it with everybody. Everybody. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying, like, right now, America bitches, I got him as the top, right? We know he's going to get knocked. Let's be real. We know he going to get knocked. But I got Mirkovic as probably one of the most ruthless as of right now. What, what we see the cartel do? What, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the dude in the cartel name? Miguel. What did Miguel do? Miguel ain't did nothing. Miguel is torturing low lives. He's torturing no name niggas. Who the fuck are these people that Miguel is torturing? We seen him in there. Yeah, Tommy, stick his hand in there. <laughs> yeah, hold on tight. Man. You ain't sub-zero. This nigga America bitch is kicking down those. Nigga, you got diabetes. You can't do shit. You can't even stand up without me, Rhea, saving your life. This nigga America bitch. Look at this. Look at this. Look at Tommy Egan. Tommy hiding. Tommy hiding. Look at Tommy. Tommy taking cover. Look at America bitch. Straight through the door. All ammunition. Swipping, switching guns. Laying shit down. We haven't seen nothing like this, y'all. Oh, my goodness. When this happened, because I definitely wasn't expecting this to happen. Now, I need every single one of, 
I don't even know how I'm gonna label this. But all you predictable motherfuckers show up right now and tell me you said you knew that motherfucking miracle bitch was gonna kick in the fucking door and shoot niggas up. Someone tell me that they predicted this before the season started because it's so fucking predictable. Someone tell me that they knew that Miracle Bitch was going to beef with every single nigga on the show. Someone right now show me some receipts that said Miracle Bitch was going to be a bad motherfucker and beef with everybody. Until then, don't tell me that the show is predictable because I guarantee none of y'all thought this nigga Miracle Bitch was going to be on that. Because even I didn't because I was calling the serves weak as shit. Somebody, please tell me that it was predictable that Miracle Bitch was going to shoot a grenade launcher outside of that trailer, that he was going to shoot a grenade launcher in the projects, come step on Tommy. No one's ever applied pressure to Tommy like what Miracle Bitch is doing right now. Walter Flynn wasn't doing nothing. Walter fucking Egan. Oh no, Tommy fucking Egan. All he was doing was talking. This nigga Miracle Bitch, he said, you know what? Enough is enough. Fuck the cartel. Fuck the Flynn's, fuck Tommy, fuck Claudia if she turned her back on me, fuck Shanti. This nigga is not playing. But I need someone to tell me that this was predictable. Yeah, Joey, I got I got a Twitter. I'm gonna be on there a little bit more. I haven't really like been on there. I get on there, I talk some shit, but I just need I just need I just need to know. I just need to know. Correction, Kendall, he used to get the work from them. He used to get the work. And as soon as he cut, as soon as Che cut him off, what did he do? He didn't go around moping and crying. This nigga went and got guns. This nigga went to work. This nigga got fired. And by the end of the episode, started stepping on shit. That's how you do it. When Craig got fired on his day off, Craig was bagging his mama for 200 funky ass dollars. And they were going to let that nigga Craig get killed over $200. When Mirka bitch lost his job, that nigga went and got a gun. Mirka bitch said, go shoot the projects up, nigga. Where's Tommy Egan at? Give me the location. Fuck it. We're going to crash out today. No character is doing what Mirka bitch is doing. Nobody. Nobody. Make sure you hit that like button, y'all. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I think we like four subscribers away from 44,000. 44,000. But nah, this season is good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Overall, because it was some little slow moments, but the thing is, we need those episodes so we can understand everything that's going on. Now, like the whole Leon thing, see, we needed that so we could see Diamond turn into Diamond. You know what I mean? We needed that to see Diamond turn into Diamond. Of course, we all look at it like, man, that sucker shit, you shouldn't do it. But we need that for his storyline because remember, everyone was telling us, yeah, Diamond is weak. Even me, I'm like, man, what the fuck is Diamond doing? Is he? Remember, I asked Big Smurf. Big Smurf came over here. I said, "Hey, Big Smurf, be real, dog. You know, I'm I'm CBI for life. But who do we answer to? Is it Tommy fucking Egan or is it Diamond? You see what I'm saying? But now we got Miracle Bitch on some other shit. Now we got Miracle Bitch on some other shit." Good old Miracle Bitch. All right, cool. There we go. Like I said, I'm going to try to fly through this so we can talk about some characters. But I did want to point that out about Miracle Bitch. We know the nigga's not going to make it. But as of right now, if you're going to go out, this is the kind of character I would want to play. If they're going to put me in a, a, a movie or a show or something, at least let me go out guns blazing. You know what I'm saying? Queen Latifah set it off. That When I seen that as a kid, I was like, damn, that'd be dope. Not to do it in real life, man. Not in real life. But if I was ever getting a movie, zzz, zzz, man, I'm going out banging. Miracle bitch is on it. Grade A. Grade A stepping. Big stepping. Four, five on me. Look like I'm bench pressing. All right, who we got? Who we got? Because I just seen Miracle bitch. I had to, I had to talk about him. I don't think anyone's doing what he's doing. I'll tell you one thing. I tell you one thing, Noma ain't doing this shit. Noma ain't doing this shit. When Noma got into it, when Noma got into it with her baby daddy, she had Tariq and them help out. 
when he got into it with the Serbs, I mean, with the cartel, he said, fuck it, I'll go do it myself. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Whole time, whole time, what was what was Mecca doing? Mecca was trying to take care of Zeke. Zeke, 45 years old, he trying to take care of Zeke. He trying to take care of the Tejada kids on top of that. I don't even know what other enemies we had. Shit, Cooper Sacks was probably the baddest motherfucker in. If we being real, Cooper Sacks is probably the baddest person in the motherfucking uh, Ghost Universe, man. <laughs> All right. Who we got, man? Who we got? Exactly. Noma had the, the one chopper hand off in the beginning, but guess what? Shout out to Iron Panther. She killed an unarmed, she killed an unarmed couple. She didn't even kill the couple. She had the goonies do it. She just cut the hand off. Who she thinks she is? Miguel? That's who she is. She's equivalent to Miguel. All they do is hand actions. You know what I mean? They don't they ain't doing nothing. She chop off a hand, he frees a hand off. Man, get that weak shit out of here. Hell, in episode one of the Ozarks, we seen the cartel in the Ozarks. Put bodies in acid. Yeah, remember when you watched Ozarks, when Marty Bird was in there, they shot the girl in the bathroom, and then his business partner, they cut him up and put him in the acid, and then they put the girl in the acid. What's the cartel doing on here? Freezing niggas' hands off? I mean, I'd be walking around with my nub. What happened? Oh, them niggas froze my hand off. Man, get these niggas out of here. Get these niggas out of here. Exactly, Coach L. But that's what I was saying in the intro. I mean, all of it. The, these are fictional shows. These aren't based on true stories. They, they got to have some fluff. It's like you going and watching motherfucking <laughs> all that shit you go watch in the movies. You know what I mean? It's no different than that. It's no different than this right here. Hey, shout out to Muchella. Muchi, 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 Muchi. Hey, De Niro. Hey, thanks, man. You know, I got the crib. I'm putting it together. I should have a couch this weekend. Should have a couch this weekend. And then I'm going to start working on the studio. I'm going to get the couch. I probably, I'm going to wait on the TV. But, you know, I'm about to get the big 86 inch. You know what I'm saying? Pause. But then I'm going to start working on the studio so I can move stuff over there. But yeah, man, if you can, if you go to the movie theaters and you watching Spider Man, you watching Captain America, I don't want to hear that Tommy's a cartoon character when the whole thing, them niggas is comic book characters. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear that shit. This is fictional. This is not nonfiction. This is fictional. I mean, I'm fixing to tell you some dumb shit. You know what I mean? I'm fixing to tell you that niggas. They got to survive. We watched six seasons of uh, fucking, what's the boy name? R.I.P. James St. Patrick. We watched six seasons of that shit. Fake as a motherfucker. Fake as a motherfucker. Pink sneakers is running around the city. We didn't care. We know it's fake. We know it's fake. It took six seasons for, what? This nigga ghost went to jail for what? A uh, half a season? Whoop the nigga's ass, killed a nigga and got out. Come on, man. We know this shit's fake. We know it is, but damn it, I love watching it. <laughs> I love watching it. All right, who we got next? Damn, we already got to an hour almost. Shit. All right, we rolling. We rolling. We rolling. Uh, shit, shit. Who y'all want? Who y'all want next? 
Oh, RD's in here. What up, RD? Uh, travel. Hell, hey, don't talk to me about fake. Don't talk to me about fake. What up, Queen? Hey, don't talk to me about fake when we had a 45-year-old nigga hooping in uh, motherfucking college. Don't talk to me about fake. Don't talk to me about fake. Don't talk to me about fake. Don't talk to me. Fucking Monet Tejada killed Carrie, hung her up off the ceiling. Get the fuck out of here. Don't talk to me about fake. Monet killed Detective Whitman in the house. Don't talk to me about cartoon characters. Monet got shot by a Uzi, and we seen screenshots of her and Michael Ely in the next season. Nothing is wrong with her when she just got sprayed the fuck up. Don't talk to me about cartoon characters. Don't talk to me about cartoon characters. Raquel Thomas and Unique just got into it with the motherfucking mafia in the middle of New York City after there was already a body down the street when Detective Burke showed up the first time and they just kicking it in a whole new season. Don't talk to me about fake cartoon characters. Don't, don't do that because every show got that. Every show got that and we enjoy that. We enjoy that. We enjoy that. But I'm back now. I'm back. I'm back. Hey, shout out.